Hello guys this is TGT where all you need to know about games and gaming are giving out two times per week. The presumably 11th gen Intel Tiger Lake mobile CPUs promises to deliver a new core, Willow Cove, and new gen 12 graphics capabilities to once again ramp up Intel's on-chip CPU and GPU offerings. It's also the second generation of mobile processor to utilize Intel's 10nm process, which is still a distant hope for us desktop gamers. The Tiger Lake processors will have a massive integrated graphics with 96 EUs each. If the ratio of EUs to SPs remains the same, you are looking at roughly 768 cores, clocked at 1.2 GHz. These cores will be able to output 1.84 teraflops of compute. Interestingly, this is exactly the same level of graphics power that the original Sony PlayStation 4 packed. I'll be given all that proves that, just keep watching. Intel's Tiger Lake Mobility Processor is essentially the direct graphics in a mobility form factor, considering the specs and architecture are exactly the same. The only difference is of the power draw, and depending on whether this is a 25-watt part or a 15-watt part would make a huge difference. At these power levels, Intel's Tiger Lake is set to revolutionize how we see integrated graphics. The company has spent the better part of a year tuning its drivers and improving the graphics user interactive experience, and with Tiger Lake, the XEIP will finally enter the fray and deliver the very first of Intel's promises. So talking of the speed and the ability of the Tiger Lake to draw out graphics will be a little bit powerful than the PS4. Game like the Assassin's Creed Origins and Odyssey will look almost the same on both PS4 and the Tiger Lake's integrated graphics. Games like Forza Horizon will be able to draw out speed and real-time textures, making look more realistic, even without the external graphics. So you can imagine how it will look like if you have this plus and external graphics. This new Intel CPU will let the PC gamers take their comfort lead in the competition with Xbox and the PlayStation Wars. Playing first-person games like Call of Duty and Doom Eternal will deliver a powerful graphics with having your frames rocking over 70 to 90 FPS. This will be a big meat to take over the coming PS5 when you got all your 2080 RTX and some good RAM size for some action. Similarly the processor will run super smooth with video editing and stuff. This new processor has got a whole lot of enhancement to change the game and compute. If you found this video a little bit informative, go ahead and give it a like. We would also want to know what you think about this new coming gaming CPU. Do you think I missed out something that I should have said? Let me know in the comment, also if I'm wrong about something too, let me know that. Anyway don't forget to subscribe if you're new, bye for now.